Alrighty boys, we are jacking up the 350Z. Because if you guys didn't know, I broke my Tomei exhaust system. Now, if you haven't seen that video, just go click on the little link that will pop up on the side of the screen there if you wanna you know, catch up and hear all the backstory. But if you just wanna see the shit getting done to the Z, this is the video for you. So there is the Tomei exhaust in action. And you can see the damage that has been done. But this actually is not the problem with the exhaust. There is a big leak near the white pipe section of the car. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get that fixed today. As you can see right there on that little hook, um, that hook has actually come off. That's like a little clamp that's meant to keep the exhaust. So it's slinging a little bit too low at the moment. Well, let's just hope this bitch... Oh no, that Y pipe's fucked. It's fully bent, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera there, but that Y pipe is fucked. It's fully bent. Yeah, you can definitely see that on the camera and how it's like super bent. That's, that's exactly where the leak is. So, Tomei for the win, because the Tomei didn't bend and break, but something definitely happened with the stock part of the car. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Full, well, this is a perfect excuse to go full Tomei exhaust now, boys. All right, we're gonna give her a start up. It's obviously leaking underneath where that exhaust is completely toast. That sounds so fucked. Is this expensive, Josh? I'll hand the camera over to Josh. He'll show you guys. It's a bit kind of... So this flange just in here, where it's actually missing bolts. It's a good time. We're right under the car. You'll hear the leak now. Josh coming in clutch with maybe some spare bolts so we don't have to go shopping. Wouldn't it be nice? It's gonna be fucking massive, I don't know if that's gonna fit the flange. That fitment though. Oh, I can like put my hole. Oh, what the fuck? Grab your rattle gun. The small one with the 14 on the long extension. Grab your rag, please, bro. A rag and a rattle gun, I can do that. Yeah, no, I've only got one bolt that's gonna work, bro. So we're gonna need to go out shopping. Yeah. So like we saw, we're gonna need to get some bolts to connect the test pipes to the headers. So we're gonna go and do that right now. I don't want gold ones. You're not gonna fucking see me, bro. I want silver ones, dog. Oh, fucking fine. Who wants we'll gold get... bolts on their exhaust? We'll go get the silver ones. You sure you want the stainless? Because they're $10 for two. So we're spending 30 bucks for... Why is it, can't you buy like a box of the cunts for like cheap? Well, not here. Totally not opening up packets to see if this fits. That's awesome. Oh yeah, there we go. We found the ones. So, we're gonna have to buy three sets of these because we need six for both sides of the exhaust. And that's gonna be 30 Australian dollars. That's good time. Here is the sealant stuff we're gonna be using. Hopefully this stuff works. Is that? Do you say you have a nut and bolt box? Yeah, that cardboard box that I was searching through before. This one, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, bud. Are you getting under the car or having sex with it? Both. I'm going to need to take this pipe off to... Yeah, I'm going to stay here and be a filmy boy. Alrighty, so if it wasn't clear when Josh explained it before, basically this car at the test pipe to the Hadder only had one bolt actually holding it in place. So when I reversed the Tomei exhaust and smashed it, it obviously put a lot of pressure and pushed up. And considering there was only one bolt there, it's actually moved and, you know, it's not tight and it's not actually in position properly anymore. So that's where we're hearing all that air leakage come from. And I do believe the other side also needs to be fixed up as well. So basically, we're going to be repositioning it, putting in those bolts we just bought. And um, hopefully it sounds like a Lamborghini again. Oh, fucking hell. You want to get your sealant shit? We got? Yep. Oh yeah, look at that gasket. I can't see. Fucked. I can't see it. Oh, it's just split in half, is it? Yeah. Okay. She's fucked. How did that? 
Does that mean I'm going to new casket? Hopefully that sealant shit should work. It's right. rated for 2,000 degrees Celsius. I hey, just fucking heaps. I'm going to have to spread that out with my finger. That's all right. As long as it doesn't get in, right? Oh, that feels weird. That's not normal fucking... It doesn't feel like your fucking CRV. Like it doesn't feel like it's adhesing? No. I'm sure it will. It just feels sort of weird. <laughs> it looks pretty familiar if you ask me. It feels like it's just clay. And it looks like clay, to be honest. Do you have the bolts and shit? Do I need to hold anything? Or will you be alright? I've got this. He's got this qualified... McClanic. McClanic. Qualified McClanic in the house. So we got no gasket on this, is that right? Yeah. So it split the gasket in half, didn't it? Yeah. So it had twisted it and torn one of the corners off See and then here. it's just... That's the gasket part of it at least. Just been split in half, so that's, that's nice. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Wait, where's that nut that we took the bunny? Um, in my bottle? No, I actually don't know. Do I have it? I think I'm you do. in my pockets. Because you're twisting the camera. Ah! Twist. There. There's the... Did you see it? Yeah. Dude, those bolts do look nice, though. Fucking stupid O2 sensor. The environment's stupid anyway. Fuck the environment. That's the Tome exhaust motto. I'm just letting you know, I've got the camera set up there. So, don't knock it. So you don't want me to stick my penis out on camera? Well, you can do that if you want, but just don't knock it. Okay. All right, so we've teleported in time now. Everything's all fixed up. Hopefully, everything's all good. We're gonna do a startup. Let's just thank and pray to God there is no leak. Otherwise, I'm gonna go criminally insane. That's just the spring. Yeah. That little clingy noise is just the spring. It does that. Well, I'm just kind of annoyed about the spring, but other than that... Give it a rub. Sounds good. I can't Sounds hear a bit queasy at the end, but that's Doesn't. just the end of the exhaust, yeah. Oh, that's just the fact that, that's just you the know, back pressure when you let off. That's just because of that. I think it's good. I think we fixed the time of exhaust. She's all sorted. What is this dude doing trying to film some crazy other people? Okay, so my microphone was not turned on when I filmed this outro, which was really, really disappointing because look what happens. Yeah, Josh blasted the Tomei exhaust at full blimp and it blasted my eardrums, it vibrated the entire neighborhood, there was neighbors looking, it was actually incredibly funny at the time and it also basically made my ears bleed. But I thought it was a really funny outro so unfortunately I did not get the audio for that for you guys. But nonetheless the Tomei exhaust is fixed, there are no air leaks or anything, the exhaust visually is a bit banged up and it doesn't look the best but I don't really care as long as it sounds good. But thank you so much for watching today's video, I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, peace out.